Hello and welcome to the Embroidery Machine Review from SWF and Cold SE Inc. Uh, what we're going to do today is kind of go over um, SWF Embroidery Machines, the company, and uh, help you figure out what it takes to make a good decision on picking the right machine for you. And the way we're going to do that is uh, by introducing you to SWF, the company, how it came into the US, uh, some common embroidery machine features that might help you make your decision. We're going to look at different kinds of single heads since that is the most popular kind of embroidery machine on the market today. Then we're going to take a brief look at multi-head options and why you might decide to go in that direction. And then what are, is on most new businesses mind is the warranty, the support, and the training that you get with your machine. So where does SWF fit in the marketplace? Uh, we're going to take a look at that story. Uh, we're going to take a look at where they fit in the quality, price, and reputation scale. Then we're going to take a look at who uses SWF machines now. So maybe you can see yourself, uh, see the future of your company in, in one of those customers. So SWF was first imported into the US uh, by Scott Coleman in the 90s. And uh, Scott spent his whole life in the embroidery business, pretty much, uh, and saw a hole in the marketplace. Uh, there were very inexpensive uh, Chinese machines coming into the market that were cheap, um, they were not very reliable, and um, didn't have the greatest reputation. But on the other end of the spectrum were these Japanese and, and German machines, you know, like the, like the Tajimas, etc., that had a significantly higher price point. Um, great quality, uh, but they were just very expensive uh, and realized that there was room for somebody in the middle. And uh, that's where SWF came in. SWF, um, um, they make a very, very good professional quality machine uh, with a great reputation, um, easy to support, easy to maintain, and at a price significantly less than the Japanese and German machines that were on the market at the time. So uh, Scott formed SWF East to bring these SWF embroidery machines to the market in the Americas. Then they ran as SWF East uh, as a company for a while uh, until they added, uh, they became Cold Essie uh, because they added t-shirt printing machines like the DTG printer line. Um, they added rhinestone transfer systems like the CAMS automatic rhinestone setting machine. And the latest is the Pro Spangle machine which makes spangle transfers, which are terrific. You should really look at those. But the, um, the original concept of the company was SWF embroidery machines to bring those to the market. And then they added these apparel decorating technologies over the years um, to fill customer demand and, and to help people that were already our customers expand their businesses. So let's take a look at SWF in the marketplace. Uh, what we had for a long time was uh, really you had to spend a lot of money to get great reliability and great features. So you were always up here with the Japanese and the German machines or you were down here with the Chinese machines. Um, what happened when SWF came into the market is you really kind of got the sweet spot. So it is very, very reliable product. Um, it has some great features that even the more expensive machines don't have. And the price is terrific for the value that you get. So you can spend a little bit less than the high-end machines, you can get a few more features, and you can get some fantastic reliability with SWF. And just some of the people um, that, that use SWF machines are, are home-based businesses. That's a lot of our customers. Uh, they end up with the with the single head 1501C or 1501T. Um, there are start startup and small embroidery shops that end up going into retail space, um, you know, franchises, etc. Uh, there are screen printers who just want to add embroidery to their business. So they've been doing printed t-shirts for years and now they have um, corporate customers coming to them for embroidered logo polos and things like that. There are contract embroidery companies, which if you're not familiar with contract embroidery, um, if you go to some screen print shops, for example, and you order 100 shirts or 500 shirts uh, with embroidery on them, this is who they call uh, to get multiple 
uh, large quantity shirts, shirt orders done. Uh, and then there are clothing and retail manufacturers. So we put these on here just so you would know that these are just a few of the companies that Coldesi has personally dealt with and installed SWF machines into. Uh, companies like Foot Locker and Target and one of our favorites, Old Gringo uh, Western Bootwear. These are large uh, retail companies with clothing lines or, or footwear lines, as you can see with Nike and Old Gringo, that use SWF machines because of the balance between price and reliability and the support that Cold SE offers. So whichever one you fall into, whether you're home-based or whether you're a big manufacturer that, that found us, um, you, can, you can believe that we've got the support and the knowledge and the team to handle uh, small and large companies alike. So some common embroidery machine features uh, that you're going to want to look at are the number of needles, whether it's a 6 needle or a 15 needle. Um, you're going to look at whether or not it's got laser tracing, and I'm just going to touch on this briefly. Uh, if you're going to do embroidered caps, which I hope you are because it's a very profitable and popular uh, business today, um, the system that your uh, machine of choice uses to do that is very important, and we'll see why later. Uh, the number of heads, of course, is very fundamental, whether or not you want a single head, a dual, a forehead, etc. And we'll take a short look at table versus compact, which especially if you're in the single head range, that's going to make the biggest difference for you. So number of needles. Um, six needle machines, uh, SWF does have a six needle machine. They are mostly for monogramming. Uh, six needles means that you can only add six colors onto the machine. So you can see the royal thread cones back there. And this is fine. You know, a lot of small businesses or retail shops will use a six needle machine. Uh, because they're doing the same logo over and over again, or they're doing the same design over and over again, so they know which six colors to put on that machine. However, um, we typically uh, try to uh, position a 15 needle machine as being a better choice, and we do that because 15 colors to choose from allows you the kind of expansion and variety that most small businesses need. So if you're not going to be doing the same designs over and over again, then the 50 needle machines means you have to change these colors less. Uh, it means you can do more complex embroidery designs, like what if one has seven colors or 12 colors, or you're doing a full jacket back uh, with a complicated message or logo or embroidered photo almost on it. Uh, the 15 needle machine is just kind of, again, that sweet spot of price and productivity. Um, it gives you the flexibility that you'll need. Um, it allows you to grow. And frankly, for the price difference, uh, it's a little bit more investment, uh, but it just makes more sense um, to get the 15 needles. Now, laser tracing is just a really important feature um, on a basic level. Uh, what it does is, is it helps you position your hoop properly, or at least make sure you have the right sized hoop um, to go with your design. One of the worst things that can happen is for a needle to hit a hoop. Uh, so let's say you didn't set your margins on your design big enough. Uh, what you'll see when you do laser tracing is a laser crosshair that will sew out the, the design in advance so you can make sure that a needle won't hit your hoop. Hoops are expensive. Laser tracing helps you save a hoop, save the needles. It's an important basic feature that you should look for. All the SWF machines have that, by the way. Laser tracing is a standard feature. Embroidered cap systems. Uh, first of all, you should be looking at embroidering caps. If you're just getting into the business um, or you know, you're, a, you're a larger company that's adding embroidery, uh, I mean, caps are a big part of embroidery today. You can't walk into a mall without seeing um, an embroidery cap store or kiosk in it. Uh, your, if you're a sports fan, you've probably got a team logo or uh, maybe there's a company logo embroidered onto a cap. So how you embroider onto caps and how you switch back and forth from a flat garment like a polo shirt to a cap is a big deal. It's a big deal because uh, even the high, very high-end machines use tools to change from flats to caps. 
So that means, you know, it's going to take you three or five minutes to unhook your flat embroider system and put on your cap system. Um, the SWF quick change cap system is a pleasure to use and to see somebody use. So there's a, there's a, a link down here to a video. If it, if it doesn't work or you can't find it, just go to swfeast.com down here and you'll find it. But you've got to see the quick change cap system in action from SWF. It literally will take you 30 seconds to get ready to embroider a cap. Um, it can save you in a busy shop 30 minutes a day per head, just flipping back and forth, and that adds up to hours at the end of the month. So embroidered cap systems are a big deal. SWF, frankly, has the best one. Now, the number of heads um, seems like a pretty obvious choice, but we're going to walk through this just a little bit. Um, the more heads that you have, the more duplication you can do. Uh, there's less setup time between jobs. So you can just think of it if you have uh, a single head, you're going to set up your job. You're going to embroider on a shirt, for example. Then you're going to set up your job again and put the next shirt on and run it. And maybe it takes three minutes or maybe it takes 10 minutes. But every time you switch, it's going to take the same amount of time to do that. If you have two heads, you're setting up one job. It's taking you 10 minutes to embroider both shirts now. If you have a four head, it's going to take you 10 minutes to embroider all four shirts. So you can kind of see. We'll get into that a little bit more later. Um, we're going to look at the common single head machines. Uh, briefly at dual functions and then the big multi heads. So just like I was saying with the single head machine here you see the 1501C our compact machine you're gonna set up once one garment and then you're gonna run it and then you're gonna set up the next garment and you're gonna run it. With a two head machine sorry with the two head machine you're going to set up two and you're going to run two. Now this picture here is of a dual function machine which is kind of interesting. It's like two completely separate machines that are welded together in the middle. So this is two two heads that are on the same frame. You can see there are two control panels. So what this means is that you can hoop up a caps job and a separate flats job and you can run them both simultaneously. Now, this, it's a neat concept, uh, but what we found in recent years is that it's just more economical and um, a little bit more easy to organize your space if you do the same with two single heads rather than using a dual function. But you still get the idea. You set up two and you run two at a time. Now, the big multi-heads, and this is what the... Uh, laundry list of big companies, big retail companies uh, that you saw me put up earlier use. So for example, uh, if you've got the 1504 here, which is a four head SWF machine, you'll see four caps on it. So imagine you are running a cap design on your single head. You are going to load up your cap, you're going to load up your design, and you're going to run one. And it's going to take you five minutes, let's say. Um, with the forehead, you're going to set up your cap, you're going to hoop them, and then it's going to take you that same five minutes because you have four individual heads running. So now you're doing four caps in five minutes. So really the, the, the rule of thumb in embroidery is that when you add heads, you can divide your labor. So a dual function will cut your label in half or a two head. A forehead will cut your labor. labor time by, you know, 25%, a six head will be one sixth of your labor time, etc. So you can see where it really pays off to get the multi heads if you're doing many repeat designs, getting those big orders. Now some common single head embroidery machines. The most popular machine that we sell is this 1501C. And the C in this case stands for compact. And you can see down here, it's only two and a half feet square. So it is, it's a full-fledged industrial commercial machine with the same warranty and the same functionality. And this is the same head as all of the other machines. It's a 15 needle. Um, but it's built in such a way to be incredibly compact uh, because there's no table. Uh, so you see, you just hoop your garment here and it's got the quick change cap system just the same. It's five feet tall, two and a half feet wide. Perfect for startups. Fits in the corner of a dining room or a spare room or your garage if you're going to have a home-based business 
or if you're adding something embroidery to a busy commercial shop, a sign shop or a screen print shop, then you can see it just it fits in a corner. Um, it's a great machine, very popular. Now the 1501T is the same thing. It's a single head. The 15 is a 15 needle. The 1 is the number of heads. Um, and the T stands for this table right here. So what the table does is it, it makes it significantly easier to embroider on something heavy. The table is there, it's adjustable, you see it's in the lower position, you can bring it up top here just under the head. And that will let you embroider on to a heavy Carhartt jacket more easily. Uh, leathers, it's easier to work with draperies or really big garments or materials because you have some, some place to put it. Um, for that though, you are adding a couple things, you're adding weight. Um, you're adding size. You can see this is almost four foot by four foot. Um, you know, and that's including the table. It's a little bit deeper than that. So you've got to have the space, but it does give you the flexibility of being able to embroider on heavier, heavier garments. So, and really that, that is just the, the table versus compact issue. Now the compact is only comes in the 1501C, so, um, or the, at least the unit without a table is only the 1501C. So even if you got a compact or slightly shortened version of a bigger machine, it's still going to have the table. So when you talk about the 1501 series, which is a 15 needle, single head, your choices are going to be compact or table. Uh, if you need the space, if you are working out of your house and you don't have a lot of room, if you don't have a lot of room in your in your shop, get the 1501C, very popular. If you think you're going to be embroidering on heavier items or larger items and you have the room, get the 1501T. Okay, the last thing that we're going to talk about is support and training. And I'm actually going to brag a little bit here because um, Cold Essie and SWFEast.com has the most experience, I think, out of any other SW, SWF support department in the country. Uh, we've got guys here that have run embroidery businesses, they've worked on big factory lines, and they've done literally hundreds of installations for us. So our embroidery training staff and our embroidery support staff are second to none in the business. And that's important for you because if you're down, you're, you, you want help. Um, so what we do to help you set you up for success is we provide free live online training. So you go online, you sign up for, for your training class, and you'll have one of our expert trainers walk you through the setup and operation of your SWF machine. Um, there are videos as well as live interaction. So it's a very interactive course. And of course, we do offer live training here in our Tampa headquarters as well. And that is free for life, by the way. So you can come back and you can take your training as many times as you want to. Uh, you also get a, a strong five-year warranty, which is you know one of the best in the business. Uh, I think I mentioned you get free technical support. Um, so you can call us anytime if you've bought a machine from us, and we're not going to charge you. Um, there are a host of online support, FAQs, and videos. So I think we're up to 240 videos on our YouTube site, uh, but the best way to get support from us is to go to www.support.coldessie.com, and what you'll find there is uh, a lot of tips and tricks, a lot of articles on maintenance, a lot of videos that will probably answer your questions without even calling in or emailing in. Um, but that's our support and training. Now, if you would, uh, when you're done with this presentation, give us a call. If you have any questions, we have expert salespeople here that have dealt with embroidery machines for a long time. Uh, they know SWF, they know the business, and they know what to do to help you get started right. Um, you can go to SWFEast.com which is our new website. And we tried to make that as useful as possible, including this presentation should be on there. But we tried to make it as useful as possible with articles like how to price embroidery work. Um, you know, what's the best way to start up your embroidery business? What are some marketing tips? So we're thinking about you when we're designing the websites and this presentation to help you make good decisions and to help you be successful 
because when you partner with Cold SE, when you get an SWF embroidery machine, we want you to have a great experience and come back and see us. So thank you for paying attention today. Go to swfeast.com or call us at 877-793-3278 if you have any questions.